Welcome, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews. 40 ish and under dollar range, and most of these are a lot less than that. Good number of these you find at your local rack stores. The one I'm talking about today, you find pop up at the rack stores all the time. There's not a whole lot of information on this thing. I have seen the notes, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go over a couple of them because I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. But I'm talking about the house of Jordache. This is indigo. Interesting bottle with that blue jeans thing. It's just a sticker on the back or something. Uh, maybe it's actually painted on the bottle. I'm not sure. I think it's like kind of engraved in the bottle. But so there's that. The atomizer lid slides into place pretty decent, fairly snug. And the atomizer itself is a, is a solid atomizer. It's not. It's not crazy, but it, it's a nice average atomizer. So what you get out of this is one of those springtime summer freshies. By that, I mean it is your across the board, normal citrus, aquatic, woody fragrance. There's other things in there like lavender and coriander and stuff like that, but it's like a juicy citrus. There's some bergamot and stuff, but it's like juicy citrus aquatic. And the backbone of this is the woods, but it doesn't really come out until the dry down, which is relatively quickly because the performance on this is not stellar, at least on me. Very weak, very weak in performance. Uh, I only get a couple hours out of this thing. I think it was about four and a half hours after my first time wearing this. I did get a whiff of it again. I was like, hey, there it is. And that was it. That was like the last time. It was like I didn't smell it for like two hours and then I caught a whiff of it and like for a second and that it was gone. Like I was just reminded quickly that I was wearing this. This is very basic. It's not offensive whatsoever. It's not going to blow anybody's mind, but it's also probably not going to offend anyone. This is in the same vein without smelling exactly alike, but it's in that same category of like Aqua de Gio, Perry Ellis 360, uh, Blue Touch by Frank Olivier. It's kind of like that without being like a straight-up clone of Aqua de Gio uh, It has a lot of similar notes to uh, I think it's Profundo because it's like Mandarin orange in this um, I think I said bergamot earlier. It's Mandarin orange Mandarin. There's a, the aquatics and the wood like it's This all the same stuff that's in Profundo, but it doesn't smell exactly like that. It's just very uh, Very close. It's in that same category if you know what I mean, so it's a great fragrance for like casual, just go ahead and reach for it, spray it on. You can bathe in this thing a little bit, go do your errands. It's, um, not more youthful, maybe slightly more youthful than it is mature, but really any age range can enjoy this. But it's, it's not reinventing the wheel or anything. This is not a new smelling fragrance. It's something you've smelled before, but I found this one for like $10.99 at, um, I think it was a, uh, Ross, yes, it was at a Ross. I found it for ten ninety nine in Orlando, and uh, you know it's okay for that price. I just wish the performance was amped up a little bit, even though it's not that much money. It's still an eau de toilette, so I expect it to form a little better than that, even though it's a freshy. But I'm getting like an hour and a half at the most with this thing, as far as being able to have a nice scent bubble. It wasn't lasting much longer than that on me. Maybe some other people might get better performance, but. On me, these things sometimes just don't last very long whatsoever, but I figured I'd bring this one to you guys because I see it at the rack store all the time. Can't find a lot of information on it. There's not many reviews on this thing, so I'm going to give you my take on this one. Overall, i give it a 4 out of 10. If it was just the scent profile alone, I would give it like a, a 5 and a half. It's like not really any better smelling than your average good smelling fragrance it's just so inoffensive and so easy to wear that's why i would give the scent profile a five and a half but because of the poor performance i can't go more than a four out of ten on this overall but it's not going to offend anybody like i said so um yeah it's, it's not bad smelling you know it's good smelling but <laughs> terrible in performance so this little springtime summer freshie that's super basic and inoffensive smell and that is my final thoughts on Jordache Indigo. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.